Imagine a predator so massive it could swallow a crocodile whole. Deep in the swamps of prehistoric Columbia, 60 million years ago, this giant slithered through the heat, silent and deadly. This wasn't a python. This wasn't an anaconda. This was the Titanoboa, the largest snake to ever exist. But how big was it really? Could it still exist in hidden corners of the world? Let's uncover the truth about this prehistoric monster. Titanoboa serigonensis wasn't just big, it was a living nightmare. Estimated to reach over 42 feet, 13 meters in length and weigh more than 2,500 pounds, over 1 to 100 kilograms, it was longer than a school bus and heavier than a car. With a body as thick as an oil drum, it slithered with silent power through the ancient wetlands. Its vertebrae were massive, and its rib bones tell us it was a constrictor, not venomous, but deadly through brute force. Once it coiled around its prey, there was no escape. The pressure from its body could crush bones and organs within seconds. The Titanoboa's fossils were found in one of the hottest, most humid places on Earth, the Serajan coal mines of Colombia. These fossil beds date back to around 58 to 60 million years ago, the Paleocene Epoch, shortly after the extinction of the dinosaurs. This region once hosted a giant swamp, similar to today's Amazon but even warmer. It was a paradise for reptiles. Without large dinosaurs, the Titanoboa became the apex predator, sharing its ecosystem with turtles the size of bathtubs and crocodile-like creatures. The Titanoboa was not just a giant snake, it was an apex predator unlike anything alive today. Living in the swampy jungles of prehistoric Colombia, this massive serpent thrived in the hot, humid environment. It didn't stalk prey on land. It ruled the rivers. Moving through murky waters like a shadow, the Titanoboa relied on stealth rather than speed. Unlike venomous snakes that strike and retreat, it used constriction. One silent approach, one lightning-fast lunge, and its coils would wrap around the victim. The pressure was immense, so great that bones would break, organs would collapse, and the prey would die within moments. Its typical prey included giant turtles, large fish, and even prehistoric crocodiles. These creatures were powerful in their own right, but no match for a 42-foot ambush predator. Once the Titanoboa struck, escape was nearly impossible. Its size allowed it to overpower nearly anything that entered its territory. After the kill, the Titanoboa would begin swallowing its prey whole, a slow, intense process that could take several hours. Because of its slow metabolism, it only needed to eat once every few weeks. One massive meal was enough to keep this giant going for days, if not longer. This hunting method made Titanoboa one of the most efficient predators of its time. It didn't need to run. It didn't need venom. Just patience, power, and perfect timing. The discovery of Titanoboa didn't just shock paleontologists, it rewrote the rules of prehistoric life in South America. Before this colossal snake was found, scientists had no idea that such a creature ever existed. It was 2009, when fossilized vertebrae were unearthed in the Carajan coal mine in northern Colombia. These bones were unlike anything seen before, so large that at first some researchers thought they belonged to a crocodile. But further analysis revealed the truth. This was a snake. And not just any snake, this was the largest snake ever discovered. The fossilized remains showed that Titanoboa was up to 42 feet long and weighed over 2,500 pounds. It broke every previous record. For scientists, this was a game changer. But the discovery also revealed something deeper about the climate. To grow to such a size, Titanoboa required intense heat and humidity. Researchers concluded that the Earth's equatorial regions 60 million years ago were significantly warmer than today, around 90 degrees each year, 30 degrees on average. Titanoboa became a living thermometer for Earth's ancient climate. This revelation helped refine models of global warming and ecosystem change. The Titanoboa fossil wasn't just a cool find. It was a key that unlocked critical data about how Earth's climate has changed over millions of years and how animals adapt or disappear. Today, the reconstructed skeleton of Titanoboa is displayed in several major museums, capturing imaginations and terrifying visitors with its size. 
But beyond the shock value, it reminds us of the fragility of ecosystems and how little we still know about the world before humans walked the Earth. With a creature this massive, the biggest question is, how did Titanoboa live? Based on its anatomy, scientists believe it behaved similarly to today's anacondas. It was likely semi-aquatic, lurking in ancient river systems, waiting patiently for unsuspecting prey. But while anacondas today hunt capybaras and birds, Titanoboa likely hunted ancient crocodilians and giant turtles. Titanoboa didn't need to chase its food. With its size and strength, it could crush almost any animal it encountered. Researchers believe it used constriction, not venom, wrapping around its prey and suffocating it before swallowing it whole. This required immense strength, but also a calm, energy-saving lifestyle, waiting for just the right moment to strike. But even giants fall. Titanoboa disappeared about 58 million years ago, and scientists aren't exactly sure why. One of the leading theories is climate change. As global temperatures gradually dropped, the tropical environment that allowed the Titanoboa to thrive began to cool. And when the temperature dropped, so did the chances of survival for such a large, cold-blooded animal. Another possibility is competition. As ecosystems evolved, smaller, more adaptable reptiles may have taken over the Titanoboa's niche. Predators with faster metabolisms and wider ranges outcompeted the slow, heat-dependent giant. Add that to the changing food chain, and the Titanoboa's extinction becomes more likely. Whatever the reason, Titanoboa left no direct descendants. But its legacy lives on in museum halls, scientific journals, and the imaginations of people fascinated by the deep past. Its story is a reminder that the largest and strongest don't always survive, but they do leave behind some of the most incredible fossils on Earth. The Titanoboa serajonensis was more than just the largest snake ever discovered. It was a symbol of an Earth that once operated under different rules. A planet where temperatures were higher, reptiles ruled the tropics, and unimaginable creatures stalked the shadows of ancient forests. Titanoboa didn't just survive in that world, it dominated it. Its discovery didn't just rewrite what we know about snakes, it challenged our entire view of post-dinosaur life. Titanoboa thrived in a world recovering from mass extinction. And while the dinosaurs were gone, this predator proved that nature always fills a void with something just as terrifying. It was silent, it was powerful, and it was completely unlike anything alive today. So what can we learn from Titanoboa? First, that evolution is unpredictable. Second, that climate and environment shape the limits of life. And finally, that some mysteries of the past are still buried beneath our feet, waiting to be unearthed. What do you think? If Titanoboa were alive today, could anything stand in its way? Let us know in the comments. And if you're fascinated by prehistoric beasts, epic animal confrontations, and the forgotten giants of our planet, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a wild story from Earth's ancient past.